Lincoln County's courthouse was built in the 1800s. At that time, Lincoln County's population was approximately 1,600 residents. The current U.S. Census has Lincoln County fast approaching 70,000 residents. It's expected in the next 10 years that Lincoln County will surpass Pennington County to be the second largest county in South Dakota. Lincoln County has a statutory obligation to provide adequate space for its employees and the employees of the unified judicial system consisting of judges, court services, and clerk of court's office. Lincoln County formed a courthouse committee which met regularly for almost a year to determine the future courthouse needs of Lincoln County. The county hired Tegra Group to assist in assessing the needs and options to meet the legal requirements for the county to provide adequate space for the court system. As part of this process, architects and a contract manager were also hired. Pennington County currently has 12 courtrooms to manage its caseload, while Lincoln County is still working with a courthouse built during the Victorian era with only two courtrooms. The presiding judge presented to the committee that from 2000 up until 2020, Lincoln County was growing at an 8% rate for court filings. This explosive growth caused Lincoln County to have the third largest court caseload in the entire state of South Dakota. In 2021, the presiding judge informed the committee that growth was 20% for court filings, far exceeding the expectations for growth in court cases. The court estimates that in 10 years, Lincoln County will be operating with four permanent judges and additional part-time judges. There will be a need for six courtrooms and the staff to operate the courts will expand from 13 to 25. The current courthouse, which is over 100 years old, does not have the space, and it is not possible to expand the current building to accommodate the growth. The current courthouse has numerous structural and environmental issues, which in 2020 was estimated to cost $1.3 million to fix. This cost did not account for any additional space or courtrooms. Present estimates are quickly approaching $2 million just to maintain the antiquated structure. With participation from citizens and the courthouse committee, two options were developed and presented to those professional groups in order to address the required space needs of the courts. One option is a new site for the courthouse, which would include the sheriff's office and the state's attorney's office and will provide eight courtrooms at an estimated cost of $83 million. This would be at an estimated $50 per year per $100,000 of valuation. Another option is to remain in the current campus by removing the old courthouse and building a new courthouse, which would house the judges, court services, and clerk of courts. The county would remodel the current administration building to accommodate the growth for the sheriff's office and state's attorney's office. This option is estimated to cost $53 million. This would be at an estimated $32 per year per $100,000 of valuation.